Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with the subject of neural networks and we're discussing about the basic learning rules. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another important learning rule which is used for the training or the learning uh, you know, process neural networks, which is competitive learning. So as the name suggests, all the neurons involved in the process they engage in a competition here okay in this whole process of competitive learning in this whole mechanism so the basic uh, learning mechanism as we all know it involves the neural network being provided with new input being stimulated by the environment supplied with new stimulus and in order to adjust itself to the new environment it has to undergo certain structural changes or parametric changes so here in the whole process there are two ways in which the neural network can respond that is through change in weights associated between the synaptic connections or the change in the overall structure so in competitive learning what happens is that we have a neural network consisting of a single layer of output neurons here the uh, neurons that are uh, filled with black the large size circles they're the output layer of neurons and the input layer of neurons for simplicity i have taken this simple structure and they are connected with every other neuron possible through synaptic connections and each of these synaptic connections they have certain weights associated with it marked by these arrowheads and all the output neurons also they are connected to each other through synaptic connections so here the output layer of neurons they participate in a competition where a particular neuron with the maximum net input okay the maximum net input that is the winning neuron okay so it is very much similar to you know a student with who secures the maximum marks in the exam comes top of the class or in a competitive exam Candidate scoring maximum marks uh, secures the top rank, the first rank. So, or in a general sports competition, the player with the maximum points wins. So, like that. So, it's a winner takes all kind of a thing. So, here all the output layer of neurons, they engage in this competition. So, here in nodal representation, we can say if we pick a particular neuron out of it, the net input the total input is the resultant or the sum of all the individual inputs that are given to that particular neuron multiplied with their synaptic weights and that total is called as the net input or combined input or induced local field so the neuron with the maximum net input or combined input or induced local field that is the winning neuron the neuron which wins the competition and the output of that winning neuron is set to one suppose here the first neuron has the maximum net input so the output of that neuron will be set to one and these two neurons it will be set to zero suppose the second neuron a second output neuron wins the competition then the output value of this neuron will be one and the top and the bottom neuron it, it will be zero suppose the bottom neuron wins the competition then that will be the output of that neuron will be one and the first and the second neuron will be zero so it is kind of this so mathematically we can represent it that the neuron for which the induced local field vk as i said i have already discussed in the previous videos also the net input or combined input is represented as vk uh, the induced local field 
and n here represents a particular instant of time so in a particular instant of time n if the induced local field for the kth neuron okay the kth neuron is greater than all the remaining neurons then the output value of that kth neuron will be 1 and all the other neurons will be 0 okay so this is the whole concept of uh, competitive learning so this whole thing is a competition now the application of these learning rules it it changes depending upon the requirement what kind of a requirement is there uh, depending on the application depending on that we can either use error correction learning memory based learning Hebbian learning competitive learning or Boltzmann learning Boltzmann learning we have not discussed we'll discuss it in the next video so depending on that so generally for control system applications error correction learning is used memory based learning is used you know for pattern recognition image based things where a lot of uh, past data is it is con consistently compared with the new ones kind of a that and similarly competitive learning is also used to uh, find out the maximum uh, result you know uh, a set of data is given to a lot of neurons and to find the maximum value competitive learning algorithms can be used so depending on the application the requirement we can use a particular learning rule for the training of the neural network so this is the whole concept of competitive learning which is basically a competition between the output layer of neurons and the neuron with the maximum combined input net input or induced local field wins the competition and its output value is set to 1 and all the other neurons output layer neurons their output value is set to 0 okay so this is all about competitive learning in the next video we'll discuss about Boltzmann learning so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much